All right, all right, all right. Welcome, everyone, to potentially the next playthrough. This is Dead Rising, K Dead Rising Two K Zero, the prequel to Dead Rising, um, Dead Rising Two. Uh, now this takes place. How many years after fucking Dead Rising One? I don't even remember. Uh, timeline why is well, what did the, what did uh, Road to Fortune say? When did Frank wake up from a zombie dream? Should look this up. But no, I it's like I I had a plan of what I wanted to talk about, but then I was just like, well, shit, completely forget everything and just start off with a question I don't even know the answer to. All I know is, um, there's, there's an outbreak. <laughs> uh, what is it? The first one, right? Fortune, part one. Close the ad. And skip to potentially, was it chapter, show me all pages. And two, 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 after Frank gets off the tank, this takes place two years. So what I've somewhat kind of sped through, kind of looking, th like glancing through everything, not particularly like uh, reading everything. This place, like I said, it takes place pretty much like two years after the first game and this is pretty much right after the incident in uh Nev in Nevada his uh after like a motor crossing challenge he was doing w that he took his family towards uh his wife and Katie and what i know is uh in that motor crossing incident, uh, people from, um, I think it's called Phenotrass in, Phenotrass in the game, basically unleashed a pandemic in the general area of Nevada where the motocross championship tournament thing was going on where Chuck Green's family was, and his wife gets beam, bitten by one of the, by one of the queens and basically as as Chuck Green is like kind of get, taking off his helmet and realizing the the situation going around, uh, everyone's basically eating each other. And Katie bites, or not Katie, uh, his wife bites Katie's arm, and then Chuck basically has to kill her, uh, escape uh, with Katie and his truck, while Frank Re Frank Green Frank Green the, ch the illegitimate child of Frank West and Chuck Green. <laughs> Uh, Frank West basically meets up with um, uh, Rebecca, Rebecca Chang, Channel 6, uh, actually News, and they're pretty much like on the outskirts of Nevada, co covering the uh, whole zombie thing, and what I kind of read was uh, after Dead Rising, two, after Dead Rising 1, Frank was Frank and Isabel were pretty much picked up by like the government? I don't know why I said it like that. That was weird. Government? Go what did I say? Go government or some shit like that? It sounded weird to me. Uh, and then pretty much they had to. Frank had an ultimatum basically go Isabel and pretty much cut the or uh, kind of walk a free man. Either way, I, I think he took took the ladder, and then later down the road he meets her. That's like, that's for later. Uh, in terms of uh, Case West, it's a some. It's like a. This game came out what in fucking two thousand. I want to say six. So I think the first one came out in two thousand three. I'm fucking. I don't even remember most of these. Uh, dead rising uh release date okay 
I was wrong. I was off. I was off by t- three years. The first game came out in 2006, and the second game came out in 2010. And three years later, it comes out the third game. And then uh, three more years later, uh, Dead Rising 4 came out. Yeah, though, Case West came. Yeah, Case West came out pretty much this, a little bit before the release of uh, the first game or the second game. This is basically just a prequel. It's a short. It's a relatively short prequel, and then it's like um, I think it was like fifteen dollars on the marketplace in the arcade, arcade marketplace. So I did play like a very small chunk of this just to make sure. Everything more or less works out or is working. In the terms of playing this on the Xbox One, I was gonna play on the 360, but I'm like, eh, Xbox One. I was originally popping my Dead Rising 2 disc into the Xbox One, which I did do, but it's not backwards compatible for whatever reason. Uh, the Dead Rising games aren't. The only way to play them on the newer consoles is to buy them the remastered versions, more or less. So yeah, this is pretty much after the whole having to kill his wife thing. He looks so fat. He looks really weird. He looks extremely weird. Compared to his, like, The Rising 2, like, official game. Uh, he looks really odd. He has a shorter haircut. He kind of looks fat. For some reason. Bro, you're not ever supposed to leave your truck on or leave the keys in the ignition while fucking filling up the gas, man. You're not supposed to do that. Haven't you seen those videos of people getting jacked? Why is it like cutting in and out the broadcasting? No, Daddy, no! Nobody likes shots, honey. But it's very important that you get this. God. The models look really, really odd to me. What the fuck you doing? Hello? Anybody here?
Damn, this jacket is kind of expensive. It's like, right now it's like $139. I just Google search this jacket. Because the jacket's pretty cool. I'll give them that. Daddy loves you so much. Oh, yeah, the subs are delayed for whatever. I have to go get some more Zombrex and figure out how to get us out of here. God, it's so weird that she grows up to be kind of attractive. Even though we see her like so young <laughs> in these games, and it's just like, why? She's so annoying as a kid. So I did dig around a little bit. Uh, there's a sniper rifle on the roof, surprisingly enough. There's not really a reason to have one, but there's one there. So basically, you go through this door. Or no, you don't go through this door, you go back over here. And there's orange juice here, which is great. Dead Rising 1 vibes right there. Uh, you go through this door, and it basically leads you upstairs, or to the roof there. There's a sledgehammer and a sniper if you want it. Uh, money is a thing in, this, in these games. I can't break this, unfortunately, because we're a safe room and won't let me swing. I don't even know why I picked it up. If only. Alright, gotta make my note bat real quick. Yes, workbench. I already got the achievements because I like I said I was testing this shit out. Oh Yes, combo weapons are new to the game. So I'm I am running a bit on semi borrow time. It's gotta do something a bit later. We'll get the sledgehammer while I'm at it. So yeah, I don't I'm not familiar with the with this at all. I've only seen like one let's play of it or playthrough. And that playthrough doesn't really exist anymore. They have mentioned it in the, the at the ending of the First game that uh, I watched Nova play this like a while back, and the playthrough doesn't exist anymore, <laughs> or it isn't relevant, or, or you can't really find it because it's because it was on Machinima, I'm pretty sure, and like Machinima lost or deleted a lot of their videos, and you can't really find it. I don't think anyone's re-uploaded it since. So there you go. The other person I somewhat watched playthrough of this was like, uh, Brad, 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 that's his YouTube channel name, I don't, I don't know, I watch him sporadically here and there. So, uh, if you go over here, there's a cutscene to place, and this is more or less kind of where I stopped, and I really don't remember him. Anything of this? I can't leave Katie. Yeah, 
and he goes back. Now, I do know there's two possible like kind of endings or ways to like the actual ending is one coughing up like what a, a thousand or a grand a grand like a mil million dollars and the other way is like actually finding parts to build a bike Besides that, I have no general memory of this game. Never played the, the DLC of Dead Rising 2. Played a good bit of the second game. I don't really remember too much on like Dead Rising 1 because I feel like Dead Rising 1 kind of has more of an impression in this game. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't really know much about this game, surprisingly enough. As far as I know, not many people really covered the uh, K Zero. Guess climb up on the basically on fire uh, oil tanker or gas tanker, what kind of tanker. It's weird, you see, he sees that in the cutscene. In game, you don't. It does make sense that an ambulance may have Zombrex. I like how the ambulance is not even in the cutscene. Saving so continue. Oh, it is. You can actually see it. I didn't see it. Uh, so yeah, I'm playing this on the Xbox, because you can play on the PS4. Also, I'm pretty sure I've, I don't know if I mentioned this, I I own the game on, on disc for the 360. I try popping into the, uh, the Xbox One to try to do backwards compatible. It's not backwards compatible. The DLC is, but not the actual game itself, which is kind of dumb. Nightfall. So basically, this takes place in the day, and he's dead. How sad. Hell yeah. Twenty one, that's fucking at nine. It's nine PM. Yeah, I can fix this. Hell yeah. Do no 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 that guitar solo or that guitar rift. It's pretty synonymous with Chuck Green's character. So if I remember correctly, uh, this is one of the ways you can actually get an achievement. Uh, this is considered the slow way uh, for zombie genocider, I think it's called. Uh, right, gen zombie genocider. This was in the original game. Exterminator. Well, I guess only for zombie exterminator. There's not really that many achievements. So we got a hundred and then kill a thousand. So this is considered the slow way to kill that many zombies. 
Uh, there's a faster way, but you, you know, it requires you to relaunch a game a few times. Because there's a moose head and you can just run through zombies. But this is a, is considered a slow way, and this is, uh, if I remember correctly, is like indestructible. So you basically just use this and you kind of just go... Oh, my spike back! Look at that. I'll drop the hammer. I don't give a fuck about the hammer. I'm a bat. So yeah, this is pretty much indestructible. You could just run over the zombies like this, and it's fine. Doesn't matter. How much? What, how much money was the was the actual thing? I don't even remember. Oh, that's not what I want to press. It's like pay what? Pay one hundred thousand dollars to the pawn keeper. Is that really that much? Hundred thousand? That's not too bad. We have two thousand. Yeah, like, oh yeah, the map is really small apparently. I just expect uh, it's a Xbox arcade game, and this doesn't really kill zombies. Oh, yeah, this thing apparently is indestructible, so you can basically just run people over with this. There's a moose head you can get, and you can do that too. You just run it, but since the moose head breaks, it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, my non Excuse me. Look at that shit. Already almost halfway there. I wasn't even kill some of these. That's kind of annoying. Alright, what the fuck? Just do it like that, I guess. We got a list of all the parts we need to get. <laughs> what is that white thing? He knows. He's got the guitar. Daddy can fix anything. Dun, 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 dun. Now that's a big contrast to like him in the third game, which is really weird. It's like I used to be a man, I fix the problem, not causes though. They really do love his <laughs> guitar rift. It's a real shame that Blue Castle kind of shut down. Alright, so got park li part part list. You need to find you need to find replacement parts and bring them back to the shop to repair the damaged bike. The parts are located around Steel Creek. Some may not be easy to find. Check the park list screen in the pause menu to see your progress. Alright, so we need wheels, handlebars, engine. Uh, bike forks, gasoline canister. So one, two, three, four, five objects we need, and we got like not not really much to help us. We don't have an arrow. We just are told like, hey, go find it. Here's a map. Do your thing. Uh, survive, I guess. I think that's Katie who said something. It sounded like she said rats or something. Still Creek. I don't know how long this is gonna be. Probably not that, not too long. It's a, I know it's a relatively short, uh, game. Or 
DLC. It's download DLC. And there's the wasp. Already being in a presence in the game, huh? So odd, you're like, huh? Let me just step on this watch. As in, like, he already knows the, the thing. That's all random. That's such a random way to do it. I think they did the same thing in this in the actual base game. Compared to like Frank West's like introduction or the introduction with the wasp where he just kinda like smacks it down and fucking kills it. He's like, fuck wasp, you know? Like most people do. It's just like, hmm, let me just step on this watch. I just like watch people uh, watch these peop zombies around me, you know? So I think this guy should have a wasp on him. Oh. Zombies with the hands up in there doesn't matter. Some of these guys have the hands up in there. I think one of these should at least have a wasp. It's like, hey, here's some wasps. Here's a survivor. You know, put two, two together. Like, maybe one of these zombies has a wasp in their heads. But nope. Hey, what's up, my dude? Can I get rid of these zombies? Uh, sure. I guess. I got a spike bat. That does damage. I feel like the base game does more damage than this. Good. Oh, this is the Pwn Cheaper guy. Cheaper? Pawn Cheaper? Pawn Keeper! Is that a rake? <laughs> Let's go, my dude. Thanks for getting me out of the mess. Is there anything you need from my store? My bike is broken down. I'm looking for some parts. I got a wheel for sale. Here is the shop. Kostya. I need on to some other bikes, but I'm afraid it won't come cheap. Anybody home? My former fishing about bikes worth the money. Oh, she actually paid it. Uh, check the uh, pop left. Okay. I don't have money. Here's the moose head. So how much the wheel? The wheel's five. Does that give it? Yeah, it gives me that. So if you don't want to look around, you can actually just get it, I guess. There's a guy up there. Hey, what's up, my dude? Do they get up there? Ooh, nudie mats. N nudie mags. Some money, at least. Pretty sure. Uh, let's see. Does this still work? Yep. So, any machine that has money in front of it basically is a winner. You put 100 in, you get like. Set money. Wait. If you. Okay. So some of these, if you break them, you get money back. I know that's not the case in like the 
actual base game. That is the case in uh, off the record, not in the actual base game. Give me a second, my dude. I gotta break these uh, slot machines. If only I had a money hacker. Alright, how the fuck do I even go up there, huh? There's not up here, huh? Hey, Is there any money up here? My name's Bob Backrock. Are you doing up here? Gasoline store it should be six there. My daughter is missing a movie until I find her. I feel like I'm looking out for her. So that's scoops basically. I don't know how how much of scoops I'm gonna do in the actual base game, Zombie Hunter, for uh for this game. I did really well in the I did somewhat well in the uh, in Dead Rising Two, uh, Dead Rising One, because I had more knowledge of that game. Now I'm actually generally surprised I was even able to do it. I kind of just said, "Hey, fuck it, let's see if I can do it," and I I did it surprisingly enough. Whether or not I can do it again in Dead Rising 2 is a completely other story. I'll I'll give the old college the old college try. Whether or not it succeeds, it's a complete other story. Come on. I'm hitting my head on it. Climb. How'd you get up here? That doesn't tip zombies like Frank does with the 2x4. Excuse me, sir. How'd you get up here? Is this shit key acquired? Can I just jump out of the window? Hell yeah. Where the fuck do I go? More money. All your money. I don't give a fuck, I'll spend all the money. It's a work shit over there. You have better weapons 2x4. Got no more nails and bats basically. We got this, we could at least probably make this, right? But yeah, I don't even have a weapon to actually do it. Scratch cards. Scratch cards let you know what you need to make a combo weapon, but they're not as good as combo cards. Scratch cards means less PP from combo weapons. You also cannot perform strong attacks. Uh, replace your scratch card with real combo weapons as soon as you can. Uh, I can't really, I can't really do much with that since I don't have like a, uh, hey, what's gonna call it? Firearm. The firearms are only in the real way to actually take a sip from the soda real quick. Firearms are only are the only real way to actually um, deal damage. I actually had to pick it up. Can I store it? Oh, I drop it. Fuck me. I gotta carry this shit all the way back. 
Are you using a weapon? Yeah, I can. Pretty shitty weapon. I gotta run my ass all the way back. Too bad it's just one giant area that loads up. Hey, there's a flashlight. I don't think there's any computer cases around, though. What's in here? ATM, I'm breaking this for sure. More money. Hell yeah, 500. Trying to get as much money as you possibly can. Got that zombie's holding the fucking ball. Beat the big lady. I like tennis shorts. Bowling shirt. Hell, nice. uh, casual chuck. Guessing the guy's still shooting. Oh, that's Bill. Oh, that was, um, uh, his daughter. Or Bill. That's Dick. That's locked. Ow, you son of a bitch. This would be a faster way to move these parts. Uh. So why the loan screen? I'm surprised the loan screen takes a while. She is installed on like newer gen hardware. Here though it's technically being emulated, but still. Alright, I got the stupid handle forks. The fuck? Achievement unlocked part way there. Now we only need four more things. What is that sound? It's really annoying. Okay, it's not coming from the game. Or is it coming from the game? I'm not even sure. Is it my Xbox? I've been turning on in such a long time. Why is it making such weird noise? Right. It's a shark. It's locked. Why is everything locked? People in there. An ally has been slain. Honey, please calm down. You drank too much. Well, you got some money. Give me that money. Are you coming too?
Want some drink? Okay, here. Take a beer. Just to say, okay, the same house is like basically over here. Queen, Queen. Ah, my penis! Come on, let's go. Because I can. I really didn't kill that many. They should have green things over there, right? Yep. That's something they added. They can actually show. You can actually see if they're able to go into the fucking safe room. to stop here for like the first little bit I got something to do real quick and I'll probably come back record some more and then probably go to sleep so I'm gonna let this slow and have anything to do nope all right be right back